Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Raj from Radical Dakar, your process automation strategies. Today we are going to break it down everything you need to know about pressure gauges from types to selection criteria so you can choose the right one for your system. If you are an engineer, OEM technician or a purchase manager then this video is for you. First, let's start with what is pressure gauge. A pressure gauge is a mechanical instrument used to visually indicate a pressure in a system. It helps to ensure your equipment is operating safely and efficiently. It's found in industries like HVAC, manufacturing, chemical, oil and gas, and water treatment plants. Now, let's cover some types of pressure gauges. First one is modern tube pressure gauge. It is widely common, uses a cow tube that straightens with pressure, used in water pumps, air compressors, and many more applications. Second one is diagraph pressure gauge, uses a flexible membrane ideal for low pressure and corrosive media. Third one is capsule pressure gauge. It is for very low pressure of gas and used in clean room or HVAC applications. Fourth one is differential pressure gauge. It measures a pressure difference between two points used in filters, level measurement and flow system. Fifth one is digital pressure gauge. It offers precise digital readout. Comes with memory, alarms, or wireless options. Now let's cover pressure gauge selection guide. Step one that you need to consider is know your pressure rate. Choose a gauge which provides the normal operating pressure for safety. Avoid selecting too high a range. It reduces ready accuracy. Step two is define the media like gas, steam, water, slurry, or chemical and use diagrams or chemical seal for corrosive or dirty fluids. Step 3 is choose the accuracy level, like plus or minus 2 percentage for general use and plus or minus 1 percentage for better for testing or calibration. Step 4 is select a dial size, like 2 inch, 4 inch or 6 inch based on your visibility and space. Larger the dial offers better readability from the distance. Step 5 is case material, steel for General indoor case, SS304 or 316 for corrosive environments or outdoors. Step 6 is connection type and mounting type. Bottom or back connection required or not, or panel mount, surface mount, or direct mount is required. You need to check this. Most common is 1 by 4 inch or 1 by 2 inch BSP or NPT connection. Step 7 is field versus dry case. Dry gauge for low vibration environments, listening field for Dampness needle, vibration, and extends live in pulsating system. Step 8 is environment certification. Need IP protection, exclusion proof case, or attack rating that you need to check according to your application. Step 9 is additional features. Over pressure protection, limit stops, or removable bezels. Some gauge come with maximum pointer indications. Now let's cover some of the real life examples. First one is water treatment plus. Modern gauge checks pump pressure. Second is food industry. Diagraph gauge monitor pressure in clean in place lines. HVAC systems. Capsule gauge monitors low gauge pressures. And for chemical plants, gasoline field gauge resists the vibration. The right pressure gauge ensures safety, efficiency, and accurate monitoring. So don't overspend. But don't cut corners either. The right selection depends on your process and environment. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you all in my next video.